Most people don't retire soon enough. And in this video, I'm gonna help you rethink retirement and give you five reasons you may want to consider retiring earlier than you think. I'm Susan Elliott, and in this channel, I like to help people think about ways they can live their life by design now, not in some distant utopian scenario of retirement, and how investing smartly can help you get there faster, including how to retire early. All right, let's jump in. So the first reason you may wanna consider retiring early is time. This is an obvious one, but like, let's really think about this. The average life expectancy of an American citizen in the US is only 79 years old. Now the average retirement age is 65 years old. That's a gap of only 14 years. Again, these are just averages, but 14 years isn't that long amount of time, right? Think about how long it took your kids to go through school, living at home, right? How long you spent in your career, right? 14 years to just enjoy all of the fruits of your labor isn't that amount of time. Let's take a look at some data presented by Tim Urban, writer and stick figure artist extraordinaire over at the Wait But Why blog. Really great blog, by the way. In his blog, The Tail End, Tim looks at just how many years he actually has left. He considers that he could realistically pass away at age 90, which again is 10 years above the average here. And with that in mind at age 34, how much time does he actually have left? How many Super Bowls is he actually going to watch? Or how many ocean swims is he actually going to experience? Or how many winters will he live through for the rest of his life? Now, depicting this visually is a great way to sort of like feel the weight of time. The point here is that we always feel like we have more time than we actually do, and seeing it visually helps us to comprehend that better. The biggest, most impactful illustration he did for me was how much time he has left with his family. He did this by showing how many days he's spent with his parents and how many he potentially has left, considering he's probably not seeing his parents very often as an adult who has his own family. He determines that by the time he's graduated high school, he's already spent 93% of the total amount of time with his parents that he'll ever spend. Now at age 34, he's actually in the final 5%. Yikes, I mean, just imagining knowing that you only have 5% left of the total amount of time you'll ever spend with someone really important to you in your life, that's not a lot of time. I think about how this applies to the time I spend with my own children. If those first 18 years of their life is 93% of the time of their lives that I get to spend with them, my daughter's only six, but that's probably at least 50 or 60% of the total amount that I'll see her, right? That makes me really value right now and not these distant retirement years where I can theoretically spend all the time I want with my family. Okay, the second reason you should consider retiring early is that you likely are gonna have enough money. A lot of people overpredict how much they want to have in retirement, how much they need in retirement. And really, if you take a look at like your investing strategy, how much you have right now, you're probably gonna see that you're gonna have enough money sooner, right? You don't need to add an extra year, just one more year, right? Just one more sort of $500,000 of net worth gain, just a few more years of compounding or of appreciation. This is helpful to look at, especially if you're in your earlier years of investing, right? You can even think about retiring sooner if you've just gotten started investing in the past five to 10 years, right? How much more can you invest a little bit every year? And you can see that make big differences down the, down the road in just 15 or 20 years. So you're looking at retiring at age 40 or 50 instead of 65 or 70. Okay, the third reason is your health. Think about it this way. You are the healthiest you will ever be right now. I don't have to talk about the stories of someone retiring in their late 60s only to have a heart attack or some debilitating illness really like take them out of the playing field and not get to enjoy any of that time that they've worked so hard to get towards. You should really consider retiring early just to take advantage of these healthiest days in your life. I'm not talking about trying to summit Mount Everest or hike the entire Appalachian Trail, although I'm sure people who are in reti retirement do both of those things. 
I'm talking about just being able to play on the floor with your grandkids or travel around the world with your spouse. You need health, stamina, and mobility to do those things. And if that's what you have right now, you should just consider taking advantage of that and trying to retire sooner to be able to leverage that health that you have. Waiting could cost you a lot in this department. I personally want to retire as soon as I can because I've gotten kind of fixated on running ultra marathons. Now this is a little bit in that Summit Everesting category, but I think about how, oh, when I retire, I'll have the time to train for a hundred mile race, right, around in different parts of the world. But realistically, if I wait another 10 or 20 years to do that, I'm not going to be able to run that hundred mile race. Okay, the fourth reason you should consider retiring sooner is that you may actually find your true purpose in this life, but not until you can take a step back and look at your current life and think deeply about what it is you want to be doing with your time. Retiring early can free you up to discover what it is you are actually meant to do on this planet. This reason is for those of us who have saved up even a very small amount to live simply. You may want to consider retiring earlier just to take a break from your life, right? Just put hit a, hit a pause, take the time to really think about where it is that you want to go. Look into lifestyle design, right? This is a great way to think about how to make small incremental change, changes to be able to get to this ideal life that you want to be living and not working, 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 and then living this ideal life that you don't really even know or have tested out in the end. You can take a break. You can take a mini retirement. You can take a pause if you try to retire earlier here, and you might actually find that you have a new life calling, and maybe you do go back to work. Maybe this is a mini retirement, but maybe it allows you to be happier for the rest of your life so that you don't even need to retire from your, your life or your work. I like to think about this too for taking advantage of different seasons in my life, right? Spending more time with my kids while they're young, training for that 100 mile ultra marathon race while I'm still the healthiest person that I am, or spending time with my parents while I still have them here. Maybe you'll find a way to make more money and live that luxurious retirement life you've always been dreaming about, but maybe you'll also just find a way to be happier right now. Okay, the fifth reason you should consider retiring earlier is that you're likely going to continue to build your wealth even into retirement, right? If you're investing in the right places, those investments are gonna continue to grow. Most retirees actually have a hard time spending the amount of money that they've projected they're gonna spend every year, or they overestimate the amount of money that they're gonna need in the retirement. This is basically to say, Evaluate your portfolio. Do you need to diversify into different investments that are going to continue to grow in value or pay you cash flow more than you were expecting, like preferred equity investing in real estate? Or are you looking at something that's just gonna sort of deplete your whole portfolio over time? In other words, you can probably retire sooner if you look at ways to keep your wealth growing even into retirement. All right, if you wanna learn about a new form of investing that maybe you haven't heard of to invest passively in real estate, I'll link to our Passive Real Estate Investing 101 course in the description below. This is a great way to think about trying to retire early because you're gonna bring on cash flowing assets into your portfolio that are continuing to grow and equity over time as well. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And throw a comment down below if you're considering retiring earlier and what it was that helped you make that switch or allowed you to believe that yes, this is the right time to retire. All right, we'll see you next time.